expect nothing less from uh, Nita Lula show and uh, I really really uh, want to support her she's been one of my oldest friends and colleague I worked with her many many years ago so I'm sure that she'll be doing some great uh, show this evening also they are honoring young women young achievers which is very special for me it's time to support our children our daughters and I'm here to do exactly that thank you sorry when I talk about for me fashion is when you wear it and you look at yourself in the mirror you should feel I am enough I am okay whether you feel okay in a pair of uh, jeans and a black t-shirt or a white shirt or whether you wear something put on and feel I am enough and I'm fine the way I am that's fashion elaborate about today uh, well uh, Sabya Sachi is one of my favorite Indian designers when I'm very rushed and when I don't know what to wear when I haven't planned my look I just put on a Sabya Sachi and I know I'm fine shooting stage I fell down but it is my uh, I have a policy that I if I make a commitment I try my best to honor it and when I said yes to Nita Lula and when I said yes to my uh, friend's daughter and by the way fashion for me is a pair of heels or bina heels in fact almost impossible but I'm here without a pair of heels so that's a big fashion no-no for me but I'm here because I said I made a commitment to my friend thank you I don't know because I felt like I was gonna fall on my face so I already planned in case I was gonna fall I would just do like a little twirl and roll and make it a dance move but thankfully I didn't fall and obviously the confidence comes from the outfit you're wearing and I'm wearing a beautiful lehenga from Nita ma'am Nita Lulu ma'am and she's done a fabulous job on this design um, I feel like sometimes you just wear an outfit and you just feel very beautiful and very confident and this is what her lehenga does um, and I'm just very happy to be here today and I'm very honored that Nita Mam has called me to be her showstopper and it's an achievement today for me. Um, to be able to showcase a concept, to be able to showcase something that talks a language, I think in today's day and age is very important. Uh, for me, this show was a concept about millennial women, women power, women who not only study, have, are uh, married women, but they work, they put together fantastic concepts of uh, the new age entrepreneurship and that is what today's millennial power is all about. Um, Bombay Times has put together a unique concept for the curtain raiser that was done here at Island City Center today, which is a fantastic location, um, very well put together. The synergy of millennial power works so wonderfully well over here because this is all about millennial better living and what better than to be a part of this and then what better to have 
a, such a fantastic showstopper like Nora Fadehi, who's, who's fabulous. And she herself is a multitasker. Apart from being an actor, she's a dancer, she's, she's her own, she has her own production house, and uh, she does so many things in her day. Her day must, is absolutely jam-packed. And yet, by evening, she's all here looking so fantastic for me. Thank you. So, <laughs> it's, a, it's a salutation to such power, and I think to be able to speak this language for me, I'm blessed. So it was a, it's a beautiful evening and, and having the concept of a millennium woman, today's woman who just doesn't walk around but multitasking like her, like Nita Ma'am always, and I've always seen her designs, the way she, you know, it's not only about fashion, there's an idea behind it, what that inspires her, it's just not plain fashion, but a woman power which walked on the ramp. She didn't only take only the glamorous looking ladies, but she also added success with those. Success that walked the ramp today. That's all about the today's evening was. And at Island City Center, Bombay Reality, we are proud to associate with, with Ma'am, with Noura, such a talented ladies who were there today with us. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being a part of us. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Um, well, honestly, with fashion, I think the most important thing is to stay true to yourself. There are some people who like to dress according to their personalities, and I think that's the most important thing. If you are someone who's quirky and out of the box and you dress like that, that's what makes you feel like yourself and happy. I feel like that should be encouraged. Um, and, but for me personally, I like loud, blingy stuff. I'm very fashionable in that sense. Um, and sometimes I can switch my mood and, and like to wear sporty things. So I'm a little bit bipolar when it comes to fashion. <laughs> I hope it releases like today. I'm looking forward, I'm so impatient. It's one of the most, um, you know, oh, how can I say it? I get so emotional when I talk about Street Dancer because when I was a young girl, I watched a film called um, You Got Served, which is an American sh uh, dance film. And I was very young, I think I was 10 years old when I watched that film. And I remember looking at that film and thinking, one day I wanna be a part of a dance film as an actor and as a dancer. And it, like, it, it's coming true. So. It's a very surreal feeling, and I can't wait for the whole nation to watch it. Last one, this is. Um, yeah, I just released my single called Pepeta, which I sang and produced. It's my international singing debut, and I launched it in my very own YouTube channel, so I'm very proud of that. It's something that is, um, and it's an independent project. It's something that uh, I feel should be celebrated as a woman being able to put a project together like that. Um, it just encourages girls out there and women out there to follow their dreams. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Nora. Thank you so much. Pleasure's all mine.